Hey everyone, in this video uh, we are uh, going to talk about selection sort. So the algorithm uh, proceeds by finding the smallest uh, or the largest depending on the sorting order that we are going to perform. Uh, so it finds the smallest uh, element in the uh, unsorted uh, sublist uh, and exchange it with the leftmost uh, unsorted element. Uh, you have already seen graphically that how it uh, actually works. Now uh, uh, let's uh, start with uh, with writing a macro uh, for this thing. So again, I'm copying uh, my data from from uh, let's say some source. So so the numbers are here. Uh, the idea of selection sort is uh, very simple. Uh, we repeatedly find the next uh, smallest element in the array and move it to its final position in the sorted array. Uh, so we begin uh, by selecting the smallest element and uh, move it to the the, the highest index position. Uh, and we can do this uh, by swapping the elements uh, at that index uh, with, the, with, the, with the smallest element that we find. So we then uh, reduce the effective size of array uh, by one element and we keep uh, this process uh, running until we have uh, all the elements sorted in our left array. So, so open a VB editor, insert a new module, and name it as selection sort. Uh, okay, so let's revisit the numbers again. So here, uh, let's say we have first two numbers, 18 and 16. So the initially the left uh, list would be blank, and we have everything in the right list. Now it will start from the first number. So initially it would be having 18 in it. It will be compared with all the numbers in the right list. Uh, so 18 would be compared with 16 and then 16 would be compared and uh, 16 it would store in a temporary variable and then 16 would be compared with 5 so this way it will keep on finding the smallest number until it finds the smallest number it will keep on uh, I mean finding uh, it will scan, scan, uh, scan um, the whole list on the right side and uh, keep the position uh, of, the, of the number uh, which is which is uh, smallest right so this way, uh, let's say on the 16th place, we have the smallest number, that is 1. So 1 would be replaced by the, the, uh, the number at the left most unsorted part. So uh, 1 would be replaced here with 18, uh, and the rest of the list will remain as it is. So 16 uh, would remain as it is, up to 10, and here 18 would come remaining part will remain as it is now in the second iteration uh, we have two two sublists now uh, the left sublist uh, has one item that is one because it is already sorted and the right sublist has uh, uh, the other 19 elements okay now the the next element that need to be compared is second element which is uh, 16 okay so 16 uh, would now be compared with all the elements of uh, right sublist so this way we'll be uh, putting uh, our smallest numbers on the top and it will move to the left sublist and uh, uh, at the end when, uh, at the very end we'll be having all the elements in our left sublist which would be sorted and our uh, right sublist will be empty at, at the last okay so 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 first loop would be for i equal uh, 1 to 20 because we need we have 20 numbers here and I'm uh, saving uh, the, the, the position uh, of the current counter uh, in a temporary variable. So temp equals i. And to iterate in the loop inside, because I need to compare each and up, uh, compare the number at current position with uh, with every number on the right sublist. So so for the for the right sublist, I have I'm putting another loop for g equals. And because uh, I need to start from not I do not need to start from one. I need to start from the number which is next to it. So, so for 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 that, uh, j would be uh, i plus one up to last number. So that is twenty. And let's close this loop. Here inside this, I need to uh, do the comparison, and uh, that that condition is very simple. That I need to check the number at current uh, position um, with with the number at next position. So so uh, if cells j comma one if it is less than cells temp comma one in that case uh, just just uh, uh, i'm finding the smallest number and uh, i'm not uh, saving that number anywhere i'm just uh, storing its position so so temp is actually storing the position 
So temp would be j in that case. If it it finds the smallest, if it finds a number smaller than um, that particular number, otherwise temp will be holding the 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 number which is already there. And once once it finds the small uh, the, any any smallest number, then uh, replace that number with the with the with the number at the very starting or or the number at the starting position. So I'm going to swap the number at uh, temp position and uh, the number at ith position. So this uh, these three lines will swap these two numbers, and uh, this process will be repeating for all the numbers. So that outer loop ends here. And now when I run it. To, to run that, I'll be inserting a button from Developer Tools. I'll name it as Selection Sort. And when I run it, you will see it will give you the correct results. So this is how Selection Sort works. So keep on watching our videos. Goodbye.